There are some specific events in the life of an encryption key that, uh, that really have to drive selection of a new key. Uh, and uh, so specifically there's 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 one broad category with maybe an, a maybe the, the the second one being maybe an example of the uh, of the first uh, but um, anytime somebody with knowledge of the key uh, one of our key custodians if you're talking about in a PCI terminology uh, requirement 3.6.8 uh, under PCI 3, 3, uh, ver version 3 uh, or, uh, but it's so someone with knowledge Maybe a database administrator, a, uh, a uh, application engineer, um, uh, somebody like that who has knowledge of the original key material leaves the organization. They're no longer under our policy. They're no longer under our control. Sure, there may be some non-disclosure agreements, uh, non-compete agreements, and things like that in their employment. But that kind of an event really means that we need to generate a new key associated with that person's departure. Um, the second event, in a, in a much broader example, uh, or in a much, much broader statement, uh, is when, a, uh, uh, when the, the original key, we suspect that that key has been compromised in some way. Now, uh, to suspect that a key has been compromised means that we need to be tracking all of the interactions with that key. In an Amazon Web Services environment, this is actually really quite easy uh, because all of those interactions are going to occur through API calls to the key management service, KMS, and CloudTrail as an Amazon service that is available to all, to all AWS customers will track all of those interactions for us and we can create those log events and we can, we can also establish IAM uh, uh, policies on those keys uh, so that so that their access access to those keys is severely restricted to exactly and only the points that should have access. So uh, between IAM policies and CloudTrail event logs, we'll be able to determine if we suspect that the key itself has been compromised. Those are really the two critical events that drive uh, the immediate selection of a new key, uh, not based on a crypto period, not based on quantity of data, not based on time, but rather actual events. <music>